Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. Today we are watching Peaky Blinders Season 3, Episode 5. So at the end of last episode, Tommy was in terrible, terrible form. He uh, was bleeding out. He essentially had like a... Well, he predicted that if he goes unconscious... It's probably uh, a brain hemorrhage, did he say, or or? Uh, He's hemorrhaging. Did he, he say saying. like a fractured fractured skull? He was and a hemorrhaging. Hemorrhage, yeah. So honestly, like we've seen him in some pretty bad situations, but that might be the worst. Oh. Other than maybe Sabini's beatdown, that was pretty bad too. Maybe, but th this is pretty bad. And not only that, like it's always business for the man. The man is like pretty much dying right and he's going to bloody dinners he's going to like meetings with meetings meetings with the soviets like he's just i don't know like he is trying to ensure that his family is safe now that he is kind of assuming or predicting that his family is just going to take a fall for like a much bigger plan which we now understand yeah mostly <laughs> i won't say we're perfect at it but Yes, we have now, we've, we've been doing our homework, getting help from uh, community members, and we now have a, a better idea on what's going on, because I was not going to lie, I was pretty lost last <laughs> season, uh, last season, <laughs> last episode, and it's definitely due to the fact that, you know, I don't know the history, history yeah. at this time very well. We got a, we got a good history lesson, Yeah, <laughs> I will say. Do you want to take it away? Oh, you want me to explain it? Well, just where, where we're at, like the basic yeah. sort of where, what we know is going on now, so yeah. the people know that we've got a basic idea. Okay, so what we understand is Soviets and then the aristocrats. Aristocrats are kind of had to flee out of Russia because of their civil war. They're now in Britain. And essentially, Churchill decided that he wanted to help the aristocrats, which we know because he's never accepted communism. We've seen that storyline with Freddie and things like yeah, that. Yeah, so we've got clarity on the fact that the... Duchess's family are uh, in league with Churchill because we weren't sort of sure where that was at, where that was at. Yeah, and then the Soviets. Well, we don't, you know, we don't really know what side the priest is on just yet. We, we've got our suspicions. Tommy suspects him as a sort of a double agent, mm -hmm. but we're not one hundred percent sure what side he's playing yet. But then we do sort of see that all this like selling of the tanks and giving the ammunition. There seems to be whether it's the priest or, or someone else, a third party involved that want to use this as an opportunity to ruin diplomatic relations with uh, Britain. Yeah. So between, that... Between Russia, yeah. Between Russia and Britain. And Tommy's sort of the only one that's... that's and the Peaky Blinders were essentially going to take the fall for this. That was their role. And he sort of figured it out. So if we're going to take Tommy's analysis at face value, which is usually pretty, pretty spot on, yeah. that's sort of what's going on. I want to know if this actually happened because, like, obviously the Peaky Blinders we know was a real gang, but I want to know if this scenario actually happened because if it did, that's that's actually pretty wild. Well, even if this scenario didn't, I'm sure stuff of this caliber happens. Yeah, and yeah it's definitely it's pretty full, man. It's pretty crazy. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. If you want up to four weeks of early access to our reactions or you want to watch our uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. New song today. I've got scars that can't be seen. Who is that? Could it be the surgeon? Yeah. I've got drama that can't be stolen. Oh, oh my god. Man. Oh man, look at him. Hey, this song's fire though. Fits the vibe. Holy shit. He looks mangled, man. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, didn't you see that before? Holy shit. Wow. What an intro, man. I need to speak to you about the priest. The bloody priest. I'll be getting number one. Hmm. How? From when I was a, from when I was a boy. Oh wow! Oh, there's a link back to then. Michael coming in clutch. I will shoot him myself, Tommy. I believe him as well. What has this priest been up to then? Three months Three later. Three months. Holy what? shit! 
They took they took Tommy out big time. I know. He asked for me today. Mary. Who? Not his mother. Oh, oh. damn. Oh, that's really sweet. Do you remember your medicine, sir? Do you ever read the Bible, Mary? Sometimes. Do you ever read it out loud while standing naked next to my bed? What the hell? What do you mean? When I take the morphine the doctor gave me, that's what you do. I'm wide awake. But you're standing there naked, plain as day. Does that mean like she's exposed in a way? You wanna know what happens next? No. Neither do I. That's why I pour the medicine away. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I hope we can trust Mary. Take the pins. They'll never fire a shot. How would you know? Until they unload the bloody things, it's a police thing. Or until they are facing our guns at Kutaisi. Take them all out and give them to me. Oh, combo is not fucking about. And I will tell the Soviet ambassador that there is no longer a need to blow up the train. And I will tell Tommy you accept his plan. Okay, all right. Well, he's doing business on behalf of Tommy right now. You and three families of the Lees are going to set up camp 100 yards from the gates of the palace. You won't be moved on because I've just bought the land. Damn. Fair enough. You see this blow to the head you took, Tom? And for allowing the hole to be dug, <laughs> you'll get £5,000, which you will split between the three league families. I take a lot of this money to do with not asking questions, Tommy. Always. Mr. Shelby, your brothers are here. And there's someone who described himself as the Wandering Jew. Oh, no way. Are we going to say Solomon? Good morning, Mr. Solomons. Yeah, it is. Hello oh. there, old friend. She said you're suffering from so many ancient injuries from your sporting life that your head is like some sort of smashed vase what has been oh, stuck back man. together by a I know, the amount of times his head's been bashed in and all these injuries. And the only consequence of my terrible accident is that I now need glasses? But the rest is still right intact. I know a man who can make you a pair of these. Now he's a magician, mate. He's a magician. So not only will you be able to read your newspaper, but you will also be able to see into the future. <laughs> he's talking shit. But you see his face is all like burnt on that side. So you don't have to worry about telling me what this is all about, do you? Because I have already seen it. <laughs> oh, he's an interesting man, the way he speaks. Know, the way they go like around it. You're fucking about with the rushes, isn't you, silly boy? <laughs> Straight oh, over damn. there. <laughs> you fuck off to America with Arthur, join the Apaches. Or you marry the girl. This isn't a joke. Arthur, are you really going to live with the Apaches? Told her father yet? No. Tell me she's pregnant. Shoot him. Are you sure the kid's yours? I oh, wish I hadn't told you. So he's got a girl pregnant? Yeah, I think that girl from the other episode. You love the woman. Fucking what? Take that as a no. She doesn't want to have the baby. We know a woman. Shut up, John. Same woman who helped you out twice. No more women. Mm -hmm. That's why you had him fixed, Arthur. Charlotte will want the best. She is the best. The best. Used to be a nurse. 20 minutes, done. Don't even have to go in or wait outside. You go to the garrison, drink whiskey, have a laugh. Well, she goes through everything. Tommy said when that bell rings, we'll all go to the big room. It's like an order to everything in this house. Come on, Tommy has a plan. Like always. Oh, he's still here. I was hoping he'd still be here. Oh. oh. They've got history. Arthur, come here. Shalom. Oh, 
Shalom. Oh my gosh, Shalom. Oh my gosh, happy day, Shalom. What does that mean? Come on, listen. I owe you a little something, don't I? I do. Come on. Better be a damn apology. <laughs> this is too funny, dude. Arthur's like, what the hell? I want you to know, right, that whatever happened between us, yeah, back then, that was business. It was just business. <laughs> oh my Come god. On. I have made my apologies by my own god for abusing a very holy day to get you clinked up and battered, which I did. I mean, he seems like semi genuine. In his own way, yeah. My personal apologies unto you. If Arthur doesn't want to take it out, I understand. Well, I think the god's going to be the connection too. It's so weird seeing Alfie just like part of the crew. I hear that you have allowed Jesus to come into your life. Yeah. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. That's lovely, isn't it? That's, that's lovely. And I was wondering, how does that work for you on a day-to-day, -day, considering your line of work, mate? Oh, man. That Don't is a good question. Buttons. Your apologies accepted. He's looking straight at Tommy, not even oh, yeah, you're a right fucking nuisance with it. Hello. Oh, she is going to snap. Oh, I really feel for Arthur. He's really pushing it, man. Arthur's going to snap. He's fucking fanciful, mate. Isn't it? He wants him to snap. He's waiting for it. Yeah. Arthur, man, he's done well. I'm old. Testament. Fucking hell, look at that. Now that. That scares me more. Yeah, baby, you should be. Congratulations, Tommy. You now have the finished article right there, ain't you? Why is he all burnt? I don't understand. Did I miss something? Murder and maim for you with God on his side. Yeah. His face is all mangled, dude. I don't know. You don't want to let him go. We're going to do business with this fucker. I demand to know why. I mean, that's fair. Especially with what he went through. We need to see what's in that treasury. And that's why we need Mr. Solomons. Oh, this has got a whole lot more interesting, not gonna lie. It's a sick little alliance. All right, boys. Just remember, they are fucking insane. <laughs> and dangerous. And drunk and stuff we've never heard of. And they're worse than us for spirits and ghosts. And worse than the gypsies. Today, they're gonna test us. Fuck them. <laughs> Simple as that. I love it. It's customary in Russian royal households to check for such tattoos before engaging a man in business. Well, they all have to undress. And as we approach the allotted day, these ladies here would like to make sure that you're not assassins or infiltrators, so... No, we're all good. <laughs> yeah, I'll I don't even like, get the memo. Mm -hmm. And my body's already been checked, although at the time I wasn't sure that was the reason. And now it's your turn. Oh, that makes sense now. Right. With the Duchess. Yeah. No, 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 no. Obey. That's it. Obey, Arthur. Obey? The way she just said that? Oh, my God. Manny, fuck it, Susie. The funk is his fucking dinner, not you, Oh, he's talking in their language. What is their language? Look, the role needs to go to bed surprise, eh? Hey? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Arthur. Oh, my God. <laughs> John's just taking the piss. John's pretty proud of himself. Man's packing some heat. <laughs> Boy, there you go, ladies. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> what Your now? There's no way. Oh my god. But you passed the test, soldier. With flying colours. They really like uh, Test of the Boundaries, don't they? <laughs> oh. 
I feel for Arthur because he's trying to stay faithful as well. And it's all in front of his brothers as well, like... What's she doing, man? Inside every man, there is a devil. <sighs> I mean, aren't you the devil? Like, look what you're doing! In front of the brothers as well, dude, that'd be so weird. It is traditional to seal the successful examination with what kind of music? Oh, Arthur, why couldn't, why was it not John? Do yeah, you know John was I mean? having fun. Let, let, let John, oh my God. One last job, make contact and play nice. Oh, this is going to be like the end of him for sure. Like I just see it. Hey, can I, uh, can I use your phone? Michael? Business first, love. Business first. <laughs> He looks very uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't think Paul knows. Who's the lucky girl, Michael? Her name is Charlotte, and Michael cannot breathe if he does not talk to her every two hours. <laughs> Paul hates it. Uh, my girlfriend is, is pregnant. And uh, we'd like you to help us. Oh, he's making that call. Michael? Would you like to welcome Ada, our new head of property and acquisitions? Congratulations. Where do I sign? Yeah, man's not in good form and Paul's noticed. Ada, have you got um, whiskey? Yeah, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Becoming too like a cousin. I thought that was the idea. Yeah, Tommy, but with a bit more fucking charm and class. <laughs> Specified Tommy, not the other two. Where am I sleeping, Ada? Michael. In the room next to Carl's. Michael. Good night. Yeah, you don't have control over this one. So, how should we celebrate? Well, with Michael in bed, I thought I might, um... go for a little drive. Oh, where? You're gonna visit a painter. He called me two nights ago to say that the portrait was finished and I said I'd go there in the morning. But he said no, he wanted me there tonight. <laughs> romance her a little bit. And he was quite upfront with his intentions too. Hopefully he's genuine and he's not somehow always on his Yeah, I know. He's like a tiny bird pecking at you. <laughs> Paul loves it. And I think he's given up on me. I don't think so. So bloody go. Why should the boys have all the fun? <laughs> Fair enough, Paul. Go have your fun. <laughs> oh, literally, insert boys having all the fun. Oh my god. What the hell, dude? What are these Russian parties? Oh my god. Oh, John. John. Did you expect anything less? Yeah, I mean, he's usually been pretty faithful. But he's a peaky blinder. You're doing good, Stefan. Fucking mad out. No shit. Who the hell's Stefan? What you got? <sighs> There's one of their men undercover. They did at night, but they said they would kill the three brothers in the ugly head of all. Cole Yard. Wow. Jake was talking about using a sword, but the woman, she was talking about using machine guns. No of way. Course. These guys are betraying him too? This treasury was built 200 years ago to protect the king's jewels in case of French invasion. God damn, man. Security is top notch. And of course, Tommy's going here alone. So, should anything happen? Always. Zero backup. Oh, Alfie's here. You're a jeweler. I don't feel they trust me, Tommy. <laughs> the only dealer I trust in London. Yeah, it's trust. Yeah, it's Very nice loosely. That on the old invoice. <laughs> What's he done? When you have selected your chosen items, they will be put into a box and stored. When you have fulfilled your part of the deal, the box will be delivered to you. Okay, very simple. They've got this planned out. Oh, need to roll more. Yeah, well, there's a good reason for that, you know, little man. Because oh, no, shop, he's gonna... Right, he's just above a rum house, so... You speak it I do, yeah, I do. This is my mum. I was surprised by that. You hunted my mum with dogs. <laughs> this is so good. 
Now he's reversing the oh, the tables. Today right, is for forgiveness, isn't it? Oh, every day's for forgiveness for you. And bam. He's the most like epic troll whilst he could just snap and end you in a second. Oh, for sure. That was a gift of uh, Tsar Nikolai. I ain't asking you though, am I? Right? I ain't asking you. All right, I come here to do business for my professional services. If you keep interrupting me, I won't be able to focus too much. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. We have time to come in and choose what we like. And now we have chosen. Yeah, despite who was a gift from who. Five. Was it oil provenance? Oh, very interesting. Yeah, taking it off her body is like a very strategic move. Two. That's much nicer. Ten. That was definitely a five. UK Yes, I am. Of course he is. Dude, they are an epic tag team. Right, what we got? 37,600. Still got a while to go. Isn't it funny? He was in there and they thought he, like, like he was just harmless. And then he flicked the switch and he got them all trembling. Yeah. We would not offer you family uh, eggs. This is a man of my jewelry. He advises me to insist on Fabergé. It's a deal breaker, so we... <laughs> oh my god, the way Alfie has just completely destroyed everyone in the room. Brilliant. And asking for their, like, most prized possessions too. I brought that from Crimea myself. Fuck you. Know. I have no idea what the hell that is. That does indeed bring us the entire selection to £70,000. Wow, it's worth that much, hey? Good man. Don't ask me to do one of those handshakes. I really want this interaction to go well for Paul. I know. She deserves it, but I'm worried that it's just... Damn, it's a cool painting. That's awesome. There. A woman of style and substance. I like, I like. I think Paul likes as well. I hope so. It's good. It's good. Oh, she loves it. It's very good. No, it's, it's very... still wet. Oh my God, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> you can like smudge it. It's still wet. Now Paul's wet. <laughs> <laughs> cheap joke, cheap joke. <laughs> I miss Sundays. There will be more Sundays. Oh, this man is smooth, dude. This man is very smooth. He definitely is. Arti artistic genius. <laughs> Play the long game. Oh it. shit. She thought of um Campbell. Oh poor Paul Damn. man. Stupid Campbell. I mean good on her though. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. good on him for listening. I was just hoping it didn't ruin it. Yeah, shit. I do like that they did that. Very realistic, you know, mm -hmm. that she's still suffering from that. Vodka. Oh no. She's gonna rip him back off now though. Did a good job. Man, Arthur is trying so much restraint. I know, but he's got like a baby on the way too. It's so weird that everyone's just sitting there while everyone's doing their thing. Why are you playing games with people? Well, that is no benefit to you. It's a really good question. In Russia, because we were bored. In That's England, not a very good because answer. we don't know how to stop. Okay, some truth to that, I guess. At least they're silly games and orgasms. Mm, that's all, like almost like Jesus a fuck. pull out. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Tommy's surely playing her. Hopefully, like distracting her. 
Maybe. I'm hoping so. You, like you got that vibe, you know there's more going on, but you don't know what exactly yet. Oh. My heart breaks for him, man. I know he's made a choice now, but... He didn't want to be in this situation, but he sort of had to for Tommy. Oh. oh shit. Oh, man. Arthur has a good heart, but he's just always mi mixed up in bad shit, man. <laughs> she thinks she has Tommy cornered. She doesn't realize how this is going to work. You still love her, don't you? Oh, I was playing her games, man. You want her? Why would you fucking say her? Why would you fucking it's say her? You love her. Are you fucking safe? You want her? Oh my god, dude, she's playing with fire here. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> Damn it, what is she doing, is man? She's tortured. <laughs> No, I think she actually beat him, dude. What the hell? But, like, broke him. This is such a weird position to see him in. He yeah, so I'm vulnerable. trying to figure out the scene. You want her? Tonight. To work at some of that voodoo shit. In the palace in Tbilisi, there was a priest. And he would put his hands here. Yeah. And with that strangulation, there was also ecstasy. It's called Klisti. A Siberian prayer. So he can like see her, like hallucinate her? Women who have lost men in the war would lay down and they would fuck the ghost. God oh, um, damn, this man. Is sick. Some dark it's side. really dark. <sighs> this is some of the most twisted <laughs> sex I've it seen. It is. Oh, man. He's just like hallucinating her now. Oh, dude. This is a sad scene. It makes me really miss Grace as well. I'm pretty sure this is their wedding night, maybe, that he keeps going back to. Oh, man. That is something else. Oh, no. Nah. I didn't realize how similar they could look. Yeah, wow. If you are the dealer, let me out of the game. Again and again and again. If that is the glory, mine must be the shame. Damn, those words. Woo. I opened up another treasury for you. I mean, I get what she means, but shit. Again, what does she get out of it? Oh, I don't know. My brain's fucked after that scene. That was... <laughs> you should call this painting. Fuck them all. <laughs> Oh, Paul. The parish. <laughs> the king. What should I say one word too much? The copper. Oh, Campbell. Her face, like, really changed there as well. Do you want to hear the wildest story of them all? Oh, no. Is this going to fuck everything up? I killed a policeman in cold blood. I don't know if that's a good thing to tell him or not. She did it. That girl in the painting. Okay, he seemed okay with that, I guess. What a night they're leaving from it. Oh, damn, dude. Okay, so they weren't killed. How's he gonna go home and face his partner now? His pregnant partner. Yeah. Get all your buttons back, eh? Yeah, yeah what's God gonna say about it all today? Fuck off, both of you. He's gonna keep poking until he gets a reaction, hey? It tells Linda everything. Every single thing. Why are you pushing your buttons, John? Is he gonna tell her about this? I feel like he'd feel too guilty if he kept it in. Private Letson. Reporting for duty, Sergeant Major. IT's private. It's got some boys ready to go. They fight with them. Well, if it ain't the tip to fucking clay kickers, eh? <laughs> clay kickers. Come here, yo. Ah, oh, they're on good terms. They're all mates. And this is William Lasso. 
the South African Native Labour Corps. Sent to Flanders from the Bloemfontein Diamond Mines. And the best tunneler I ever met. Ah, oh, best tunneler. Yeah, the tunnels together. Now this used to be the palace treasury. The tunnel runs directly west and it's separated from the house by three iron doors with locks we can't open. Oh man. They got all the intel they needed. They know exactly where it is now. She looks sus, doesn't she? Oh, oh no. she's going to do a bit of snooping. Oh no. That like mother's intuition right there. Yeah. She knew it gives the keys. Shit. Oh, bullet. Oh, mm. very different to a ring. That's not what she wanted to see. Use. <laughs> He's like, I did not just see that shit. I did not. The bullet was mine. I never got a chance to fire it. And the gypsy rules say it must be passed it's on. It's not about rules, Paul. It's about he asked me. Yeah, yeah, which I think she's maybe oblivious to. It's about he told me why he wanted to do it. Now if I tell you, I can't take the knowledge back. Yeah, like what happened to him? Yeah. Yeah. I trust his reasons. So this is when he was with the parish? Better off without a bow. Yeah, like don't ask questions. That priest. A priest. Who was there when he was taken in and who was still walking the fucking earth. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, her pain, that motherly pain. Fuck. He asked me, Paul. And I said yes. Which is fair. And I said, you put a bullet in that fucker's brains. Yeah, he's not bullshitting. He's even feel straight. the Peaky Blinders. Oh, <laughs> by all of the Peaky Blinders. Love but it. But just like she had her opportunity with Campbell, you know. Yeah. I think she gets it because of that. And we just saw recently, like, the, the power she feels because of that. No. Not my son. She's still trying to hold it back. He'll still be as dead if Arthur does it. And part of him will always stay dead. Mm-hmm. And she knows that. If my son pulls the trigger, I will bring this whole fucking organization down around your ears. Oh Damn. my goodness. You know she will as well. Wow, I really thought she'd... I get her position, but I thought she'd understand it more. Know, but why are we putting it on Arthur? Not Arthur! Anyone else but Arthur? Far out. Stand out of this episode, by far, was Alfie Solomon. <laughs> he was just... He was awesome. Honestly, I actually really enjoyed... Oh, I loved having him back so much. And it was just... he <laughs> He's like such a cool character because the way he came in, he's just so unpredictable by nature that you know how dangerous it, he is, but yet... He also can really, he knows when to just be calm, lower himself, and then bang, snap. And he, and he perfectly executed it yeah. when they were valuing all the jewelry. Yeah. I just thought he did it so well where he was initially, you know, tied up and he's like, I don't know. And they all probably thought this stupid jewel, I look, look at him as yeah. a fool and really played himself down. And then once he got to business, boom, all of a sudden everyone was like, who's this the same guy we just had? Like everyone was on edge. He single-handedly managed that whole room and... Just his whole almost good cop, bad cop act with Tommy as well. Yeah. And their dynamic and, oh, I'd fucking love it. What's crazy is, like, we're watching a show, we know there's a script, but he really makes it feel like he's just coming up with shit on the whim. Like, he's that, like, unhinged, that unpredictable. And the way he delivers the lines, I feel, is just so special. You don't see that in a lot of actors. Um, and I definitely can't always understand him. Like, I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know everything like, that he's saying. Where he's going with it. I get the gist, but sometimes it's like he, you know, messes up with my mind, but I enjoy it nonetheless because his just delivery yeah. is so good. Like even bringing up his mother and 
They were also shocked that he understood a bit Russian. Like, yeah. just all those little things, like, really add to his character and add to the story. Well, how much Russian had they potentially spoken before Tommy arrived, you know, and he just hadn't said a word until yeah, now. Yeah, that is true. Like, talking shit. Like, and... once business started, he revealed all his cards real quick and he threw them off. Yeah. They thought they had a read of the play and it's like, no, you guys had no idea. Yeah, I Not do without love me. that. Oh. Well, essentially, this episode with this plan and everything destructive that happened within that household, that mansion, wherever they are, was essentially for a bigger plan, right? We They just needed to... Get the Russians, the the aristocrats, to show their hand, essentially, and a few hands at that. And unfortunately, there always is collateral with that. Um, and Arthur being one of the bigger ones. Yeah, but the whole point was so now they can tunnel because they don't yeah. believe they're going to get paid out. Yeah. So they're going to claim what they're owed. Yeah. What's interesting is Stefan, the boy, he yeah. deciphered, you know, about killing three brothers... So that might not have meant that night, but it no. might still be on the cards. It's interesting. Like, Yeah, I that... didn't think it would have been that night. It probably would have been when business is done, they get what they wanted, and then. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot up in the air because we also, you know, second last episode of the season, didn't see any mention of the priest. So it's interesting what it leaves to be desired. Like there's sort of a lot to wrap up in the finale. Yeah. I know they'll do it because they're really good at fitting a lot in these episodes. Yeah. It's more how... Will everything go about? Where are we gonna? T- what angle are we gonna tackle it from? What are we gonna mm-hmm. address? And what are we gonna well, leave? I guess the priest was mentioned with, I guess, uh, like a new storyline rather than like being present. So, I feel like it's gonna be one of those ones with like this layered plan where everyone's gonna kind of get their due. So Michael or maybe who knows, Paul might take care of the priest, um, while a lot of other things are in play. Yeah, and I wonder if we'll find out in the end through Michael or whoever what the priest actually did to him. I think we can make an assumption. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But so we're assuming that Michael's priest is the priest, like the guy that. Um, I think Tommy from was. what I just understood was that I don't think he necessarily did anything to Michael. I think he was there while things were happening and he was part of it. Like he knew yeah. about it. So everything. it's that same guy. Like it's sort of a crossover there. Yeah. I like how they've linked that back into Paul's original story of her children being taken and what happened then. Like they've sort of yeah. given more depth and tie into the whole story, yeah. which makes it more meaningful. Yeah, for sure. So this, I'm assuming from what I've understood is the, when the parish took, the kids and then before they had like a home to go to. Yeah. 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 And these episodes <laughs> do such a great job of we we started, I almost forget that it's the same episode because we yeah, started with Tommy like on the mend and Yeah, you, <laughs> that's this episode. <laughs> yeah, and you go from that to like epic business deals to Tommy back in action and now you're almost like yeah. what mend? You know? And three month time skip. Crazy. In this episode. Crazy. So I think how many months was it at the start of this season? It was another two years. Oh, no, it was two yeah. years. Right, okay. So, yeah. like, the, the timeline moves very quickly. So, we've yeah. covered a lot of ground since then. Yeah. I do like how we got a little bit of grace in the episode because mm-hmm. with the pacing of this show, as we've mentioned, sometimes things feel too abrupt and yeah. Grace's entry and then exit felt, you know, also like almost enough time to, to digest it and take it in and mourn it. So just having yeah. a little bit more of that is just paying tribute. It's still acknowledging that part of the story. It's not just yeah. like, okay, we're done with that kind of thing. It was a very dark and morbid episode in so many different layers. Like, you know, even um, Aunt Paul h- having sex with, I can't remember his name. Yeah. And then just like admitting that dark part of herself to him. And just having the visuals and the the traumatic flashbacks to yeah Campbell who essentially you know raped her at the time yeah and then you've got like Arthur who is really strong I mean he's been struggling since the start and they always find a new and fresh way for him to struggle which actually intertwines with everything he's already dealt with but it feels like different if it doesn't feel like oh again we're here it's like wow you really feel his pain the journey really does make sense for his character and i just felt so sorry for him from the start to like undressing to checking for the tattoos and whatever to just at the end there him then like 
I don't know what, what was in his head. He consciously made the decision, even though he was hurting, to just, like, let that anger and frustration out. I don't know. Yeah. And then, and then bloody Tommy. To- that was, that was quite dark. Yeah, we had some powerful scenes, man. But, yeah, you're right. It was a very yeah. dark, eerie episode. Yeah. Everyone, other than John, probably variously looked uncomfortable, which is a weird one for John, because we were actually talking about this over the weekend, but... You know, you reckon they've explored it a little bit and maybe subtly they have, but those words that Lizzie said to John at the end of last season, which was, you know, you don't have the same look in your eyes. It, it's funny because I feel like this episode, they've almost made every effort to prove the opposite because every yeah. time Arthur's tried to back down or they've tried to do the right thing or they're like, this is too much. They've actually made a specific choice for John to be the the full sand one. He's mm. like, he's like encouraging it, pushing it, laughing at it. So I'm like, I don't know if that was a throwaway line because... For me, at large, at where the story's gone and John's character development this season, it's completely contradicted any any idea that it's almost like Arthur's actually playing true to that in a way, which we know Arthur's obviously, he's got the peak of blind of blood, but yeah. he's almost what I would expect John to be dealing with this season to then yeah. to then follow up with that line. From what, from what I understand from that line, it's more Tommy goes next level and John is the shadow, like the puppet, the one that just goes, yes, sir. Like he's not the, like he doesn't have that same spark as Tommy to be getting involved in all this shit. But I don't know. I don't know. That could change as well. Yeah, I don't know. Because so, I don't, like none of those words ring true to me. Like everything I've seen this season between the Italians, between the, the Russians, yeah, the scene, that's true with the everything Italians. I've seen, even when people try and hold John back, he sends it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. That was just a small thing I thought about this episode. Yeah. I've been waiting for that little mentioned to amount to something and it, yeah. yeah and it didn't <laughs> <laughs> honestly i felt like the plan that's going to happen with the tunneling getting into the treasury and things like that i do feel like that was almost a side thing this episode even though everything that happened was because of that what i do find interesting though is the egg i i'm assuming that's a significant thing that we should probably know about but don't everything that they chose was meant to go into a box and put aside now either they're going to actually put it aside and never give that or they're just going to leave it in there and then that's theirs for the taking do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. Yeah. But what I'm saying is if they do end up putting it to the side, that's a thing that you can't take now. Like, you don't have access to that. Potentially. But I imagine if they tunnel their way in and the box doesn't have what they, what is promised, they'll probably take whatever else they can. Yeah, for assuming sure. Assuming that they can. I don't know what security and what the stru- you know construction all around that area will be like. I mean, it looks pretty damn well built. Yeah, it's an ambitious plan. I mean, we've got good tunnelers, but it's an ambitious plan. So, honestly, I don't know what, what to expect from next season. We've got a lot of... Sorry. I don't know what to expect from next episode. Yeah. We've got a lot of things at play, a lot going on. And this season's definitely been the season of the Russians, even though mm-hmm. I love that we got Alfie tied in to it. It was just awesome to see him. It was nice to bring back a character like that, for sure. I found the conversation that... Paul was having with Tommy quite interesting about Michael. I know I kind of like made a few comments throughout that conversation, but I just wanted to get like my actual thoughts out on paper, not on paper, but out now in the discussion. It was intriguing because she was hurt by someone, the copper Campbell, and she got to deal the, the last blow get her revenge get her revenge and she still feels that pain so she knows inside that that's not going to help and it's probably going to cast an even greater shadow over him um over michael because i feel like that's what she's feeling inside um it's interesting that that painting she she's like oh that's the person that did it so she's kind of like separating herself like her real self from the person that did it i guess just to cope a little bit so i do see why she doesn't want michael to i don't know get his revenge in that way as well but michael is also a very different person to paul like paul's quite nurturing and stuff too yeah to a degree but i i think she's pretty much nailed it i mean yeah. she literally works with her three nephews she knows if she's honest with herself, she knows deep down that things aren't really getting better for any of them. Yeah. It's a constant tug of war and your constant loss and sacrifice and misery. Yeah. And for every moment of happiness, there's 10 negatives. And she knows that. And she, even in, in revenge, it's still, you get bleaker and colder and more closed off inside. So she's yeah. trying to 
protect her son from that life, but you know, it feels like a losing battle at this stage because A, he loves the life yeah. and he's already involved in it and that is what your business is involved. Like you can only keep him away for so long, especially when he's got certain hurts and pains mm. that happened because you weren't around, yeah. whether it was your choice or not. I mean, he's got a right to deal with those. And she's probably thinking if he wasn't in this family right now, like if we didn't get close to him, yes, that still would have happened. Like she can't take that away, but he maybe might have like dealt with that pain in a different way too. So the, I, I feel like there's just so much going on in her head right now. And can Tommy really stop him from enacting his vengeance? Is it Tommy's place to do that? Like, I don't know. Yeah. She's really threatened Tommy with the whole enterprise. Mm. Makes me think at some point that Paul might be snapped and, and, and walk away for a while because she's always yeah. been a bit unhinged where things go a little bit too far and yeah. she's prepared to just like sacrifice it all yeah. to get her way. You it know. depends how tied in Michael is to all of this. I think that will be like the deciding factor because she is slowly finding her happiness with this guy um, and you see her tasting that a bit and, and wanting and really like reaching for that. But then this whole thing's like pulling her in. And I think she still doesn't know about the child that Michael wants to get rid of. So she is not aware of the full situation. That yeah. I wonder if finding that out will change things for her a little bit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed today's reaction. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the episode. And if you do want early access to our reactions or you want to watch them uncut, we'll leave a link to our Patreon in the description down below. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you on one of our next reactions. See you guys.